The moon has fascinated humans for centuries. It lights up the night sky and influences many aspects of our lives. But how did the moon come to be? Scientists believe it was born out of a giant collision. A long time ago, a huge object hit Earth. This impact was so powerful that it sent debris into space. Over time, these pieces came together to form the moon. This theory is called the giant impact hypothesis. It explains why the Moon and Earth are made of similar materials. The Moon has been orbiting our planet ever since. Its creation is a story of chaos and beauty. The Moon's formation is important because it shaped the Earth too. Without the Moon, our planet might be very different today. The Moon's creation marked the beginning of a long relationship with Earth. This relationship affects many natural processes. To understand the Moon's birth, we have to go back billions of years. The solar system was a violent place then. Many objects were colliding and creating new celestial bodies. One such collision led to the Moon's birth. The object that hit Earth was about the size of Mars. When it collided with Earth, it created a lot of heat and debris. This debris started to orbit Earth. Over millions of years, these pieces slowly came together. They formed the Moon as we know it today. This process is called accretion. It took a long time, but the result was a stable moon orbiting Earth. The moon's birth was a crucial event. It changed the way Earth evolved. The moon's gravity helped stabilize Earth's rotation. This made the climate more stable. It also affected the length of days and nights. The moon has been a silent partner in Earth's history. Understanding the moon's birth helps us learn about our own planet. It shows us how interconnected everything in the solar system is. The moon's formation is a key piece in the puzzle of our origins. The moon goes through different phases every month. These phases are caused by its position relative to Earth and the Sun. Depending on where the moon is, we see different amounts of this light. The cycle starts with the new moon. At this time, the moon is between Earth and the Sun. Next comes the waxing crescent. This is followed by the first quarter. The full moon is when the entire surface facing Earth is illuminated. The cycle repeats every 29.5 days. The moon's gravity has a big effect on Earth. It pulls on our planet's water, creating tides. Tides are the rise and fall of sea levels. They happen because of the moon's gravitational force. When the moon is directly overhead, it pulls the water towards it. This creates a high tide. There is also a high tide on the opposite side of the Earth. This is because the Earth itself is being pulled. In between these high tides, we have low tides. The Sun also affects tides, but the Moon's influence is stronger. Tides are important for many reasons. They affect the marine life in coastal areas. Some creatures rely on the tides for feeding and breeding. Tides also influence human activities. Fishermen and sailors have to plan their work around the tides. Understanding tides helps us predict changes in sea levels. This is important for coastal communities. The moon's gravity is a constant force that shapes our world. It reminds us of the strong connection between Earth and its moon. Section 5. The Magic of Lunar Eclipses A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon. This can only happen during a full moon. When it does, the Earth's shadow falls on the Moon. There are different types of lunar eclipses. The most dramatic is the total lunar eclipse. During a total lunar eclipse, the entire Moon is in Earth's shadow. The Moon can turn a dark red colour. This is because some sunlight still reaches the moon, but it is filtered through Earth's atmosphere. This red light is what we see on the moon's surface. Partial lunar eclipses are less dramatic. Only a part of the moon enters Earth's shadow. There are also penumbral eclipses where the moon passes through the outer part of Earth's shadow. These are hard to see because the moon only dims slightly. Lunar eclipses have fascinated people for centuries. They were often seen as omens or signs. Today we understand the science behind them, but they are still a beautiful and awe-inspiring sight. Watching a lunar eclipse connects us to the larger universe. Section 6. The Moon Landing, a Giant Leap for Mankind 
The moon landing is one of humanity's greatest achievements. On July 20th, 1969, astronauts from NASA's Apollo 11 mission landed on the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first humans to set foot on the lunar surface. Armstrong's famous words were, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This mission was the result of years of hard work and dedication. It took thousands of scientists, engineers and astronauts to make it possible. The Apollo 11 mission showed that humans could travel beyond Earth. It was a landmark event in the history of space exploration. The moon landing inspired generations of people. It showed that we could achieve the impossible. It also provided valuable scientific data. The astronauts brought back moon rocks and soil. These samples helped scientists learn more about the moon's composition and history. The success of the moon landing paved the way for future space missions. It showed the importance of exploration and discovery. The moon landing remains a symbol of human curiosity and determination. It reminds us of what we can achieve when we work together. Section 7. Mysteries of the Far Side of the Moon The far side of the moon is a place of mystery. It is the side that always faces away from Earth. The far side is often called the dark side, but this is a misnomer. Scientists were curious about the far side for many years. The Soviet Luna 3 spacecraft took the first pictures. The far side has more craters and fewer flat areas. In recent years, missions like China's Chang'e 4 have explored the far side. Each new mission brings us closer to uncovering its mysteries. Section 8. The Moon in Myths and Legends The moon has a special place in human culture. Many myths and legends are associated with it. Different cultures have their own stories about the moon. In ancient Greece, the moon was personified as Selene, a goddess who drove a chariot across the night sky. In Hindu mythology, the moon is known as Chandra. He is a god who rides a white horse or an antelope. The moon is also important in Chinese folklore. The story of Chang'e, the moon goddess, is celebrated during the Mid-Autumn Festival. She is said to live on the moon with a jade rabbit. Native American tribes also have many moon legends. The Cree people believe that the moon is a protector of the night. It watches over the earth while the sun is away. In many cultures, the moon is seen as a symbol of change and renewal. These stories show the moon's impact on human imagination. They connect us to our ancestors and their beliefs. The moon's presence in myths and legends highlights its importance in our lives. It is a source of inspiration and wonder. Section 9, Modern Moon Missions and Discoveries Modern technology has allowed us to explore the moon in new ways. Since the Apollo missions, many countries have sent spacecraft to study the moon. These missions have provided a wealth of information. They have also raised new questions. One notable mission is NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO. Launched in 2009, it has mapped the moon in great detail. The LRO has discovered water ice in permanently shadowed craters. This discovery is important for future lunar exploration. China's Chang'e program has also made significant contributions. The Chang'e 4 mission was the first to land on the far side of the moon. It has provided new insights into the moon's geology. Other countries like India and Israel have also launched moon missions. These modern missions show that the moon still holds many secrets. They pave the way for future exploration. Scientists hope to establish a lunar base one day. This would be a stepping stone for missions to Mars and beyond. Section 10. Conclusion. The importance of studying the moon. Studying the moon is crucial for many reasons. It helps us understand the history of our solar system. The moon's surface holds clues about the early days of Earth. By studying it, we learn more about our own planet's past. The moon also affects life on Earth. Its gravity influences tides and stabilizes our climate. Understanding these effects can help us manage natural resources and predict changes. The moon is also a potential site for future exploration. A lunar base could support missions to other planets. The moon inspires us to look beyond our planet. It challenges us to explore and discover. 
Each new mission brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe. The moon is more than just a celestial body. It is a key to unlocking the mysteries of space. Studying the moon enriches our knowledge and fuels our imagination. It shows us that there is always more to learn. The moon's mysteries continue to captivate scientists and dreamers alike. It remains a beacon of curiosity and wonder.